Good morning. Today is July 17th, 2016. Um, today I'm reading the devotional out of Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Great words, great words. So, without further ado, come away with me for a while. The world, with its nonstop demands, can be put on hold. Most people put me on hold, rationalizing that someday they'll find time to focus on me. But the longer people push me into the backgrounds of their lives, the harder it is for them to find me. You live among people who glorify busyness. They have made time a tyrant in control of their lives. Even those who know me as Savior tend to march to the tempo of the world. They have brought into the illusion that more is always better, more meetings, more programs, more activities. I've called you to follow me on the solitary path, making time alone with me your highest priority and deepest joy. It is a pathway largely unappreciated and often despised. However, you have chosen the better things, which will never be taken away from you. Moreover, as you walk close to me, I can bless others through you. I've come to know that this is true. Um, priorities kind of, well, I should say, how I prioritize things um, directly reflects into to how I treat other people, or what my family life is like, and it's crazy. So if I put, because I like to make music, if I put going to the studio before spending time with my wife, how do you think my wife feels about that? And that directly pours over into how my family life will be. So if I put work meetings or something irrelevant before time with the Savior, how do you think that relationship's going to grow? He still loves me, yeah, by all means, but my life will reflect where I spend my time. So. As we reflect on the Savior's love today on Sunday, I pray that you remember who you are and why you're here. You're a child of God. Jesus Christ died for you. He loves you. Honor Him today. Spend a little time with Him. If you go to church, awesome. Praise and worship Him. If not, praise and worship Him. You know, take a little bit of time, go outside, it's beautiful. Look at the, the flowers, the trees, the air. I always reflect on, on heaven by looking up and seeing the birds and my daughter. So, um, if you're a woman, you're a daughter of God. If you're a man, you're a son of God. We're all children of God. And I pray that you remember that today. Have a great day.